So this is the Chateau de Ville. It was built um, in the early 80s. When this Chandler mansion met last week's monster monsoon storm, it took out their biggest lavender farm they use for soaps and lotions on their 10 acres. And when wind speeds topped 60 miles an hour last Monday, it toppled over eight of their 45-year-old pine trees that were 50 feet in the air. We're actually hoping to find somebody who's willing to come carve some of these trees and make some artwork out of them. Farm it. manager John Sisk estimates that between the damage to their irrigation, the plants, and tree removal, it cost $50,000 to clean up and repair what the monsoon did to this mansion in just a matter of moments. It's hard to lose trees like this. You know, they're 45 years old, so it's 45 years so you get another one. While pines are perhaps improbable on your valley property, well, this one has a lot of downward growth. We asked arborist Clayton Sherwood of Arborcraft Tree Service what kind of sapling are most vulnerable during monsoon storms. For individual limbs breaking, the Palo Verde is the, the typical, it takes the brunt of the, of the problem. He explained the Palo Verde trees act like sails, catching winds, breaking limbs, even uprooting their typically shallow roots. But he also showed us how every tree is vulnerable during monsoon season, especially after two years of nonsoons. They've gone through this long period of, of rest, and they haven't really been stressed. So now that we're getting a lot of these storms, um, they're not used to it, and they're breaking a lot easier. 